Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. video. We are on Season 2, Episode 2 and 3 here. Last time on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, one of our new ladies lost an arm, picking up an artifact. The obelisk, apparently like the first 084, the first object ever in history to be named an 084 or labeled. And it was labeled that by Agent Carter's group at the time, which was the um, scientific... I gotta, I gotta look at my notes. Strategic Scientific Reserve. Not scientific strategy reserve, yeah. We also got a villain in the mix. We got uh, Absorbing Man, which is Crusher Creel. And then we got Dr. Whitehall, I think, the German guy. So yeah, lots of exciting villains to look forward to. Um, our characters are going through traumatic moments right now. Fitz is seeing Simmons and he doesn't know it. He's taking medication. He's got a brain injury. It's not looking too hot for the team. There are, the artifact that they were just after uh, just got stolen. The Dr. Whitehall guy is, pro is probably going to have it this episode. But yeah, anyways, I want to say uh, something I've been really enjoying about S.H.I.E.L.D. is that S.H.I.E.L.D. in this show, the group that we have, is so clean with their missions. Are they not? Like, the Avengers going into places in the MCU. A lot of groups, a lot of superheroes in the MCU, they go into places... They end up causing more destruction than they mean to. Shield so far, I feel like, unless I'm remembering something wrong, they haven't really caused any destruction. They go in, they're clean with it, they completely clean up the mess, they usually don't endanger anyone else in, in their way. They just go in, they save people, and most of the time they don't get anyone else in danger. They don't need any Sokovia Accords, nothing like that, like the Avengers had. They've had a little bit of like a civil war moment between themselves, uh, maybe more in the future potentially so that it could maybe get dangerous and definitely together like as a family their dynamics i feel like are stronger than the avengers not like physically of course obviously but together when they, with their combined minds and all that i feel like they are stronger in that way which i love to see all that being said it goes really well with what colson said last episode which he also said the towel but he said it in like a in dialogue just over narrating over the the episode and then the towel bit as well which was that they just go in, they save people even if they don't want them, even if they don't want themselves to be saved or something like that. They save people even if they're not asking to be saved. Yeah, love that line from Colson last episode. He said it twice. I mostly, I noticed it more when I was editing. But yeah, anyways, let's hop into episode two and three here of season two. Uh, leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe, become a member. You get to watch a week ahead, usually. Maybe sometimes it might be like six days ahead if I accidentally get too busy. That's what's been happening with Clone Wars right now, but hopefully it stays a week ahead with um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Anyways, let's hop into the episode. Is pinned. Don't worry about me, there's no time. Soldiers are coming. Creel has a damn thing to burn Hartley. You need to get him. Go! Ah, the mouse trap device? Or mouse hole, or whatever it's called. Oh, is that just, uh. That might have just been a laser thing from, from Trip's grandpa. Alright, the military got Lance. This shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened, but they ran. She is riding a motorcycle in heels. May, that doesn't sound covert. <laughs> I've got him. Closing in. No, drop back. Do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. The surveillance mode now. That's an order, Agent May. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Actually taking orders from the from the boss. Okay. <laughs> really did not think she was going to do that. We got a Quinjet. One, two, ongoing, minus one. Okay. I'm not going to be a nerd here. The item that messed up Hartley's arm, it had those weird symbols on it, the ones you've had me researching. Oh, did it? I didn't even notice. Mission's compromised. We'll have to burn the base and evacuate. Mm -hmm. I know. And we just retiled the bathrooms. <laughs> Why just dropping him in the middle of nowhere? Well, at least he didn't run. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Oh, Talbot. Brigadier General Glenn Talbot. A handshake. Very nice. Looks like you need a lift, soldier. What? <laughs> he 
He's just as confused. He's been working on cloaking since before Simmons took off. Still can't believe she abandoned him like that. She abandoned all of us. But Fitz what? has been clinging to his work. What happened with Simmons? I'm so confused. No way she just abandoned them. I mean, I don't believe that. She's like the nicest person out of everyone here. She just maybe got really depressed from looking at Fitz all the time or... I don't know. That's <laughs> so sad. Do they know he talks to Simmons? Is he gonna oh, say Simmons' name or something? The, um... uh, Fitz, he, he... Yeah, could I just stop talking for one second? It's so sad that, that that's like a real thing that happens to people. Think big fish. Oh my gosh. Colson. He's a vigilante. I hate Talbot so much. Will like risk anything to further his own agenda. But lucky for you, I've why? got a senator with very deep pockets that wants him. Hunter saw what the what the object does, the obelisk. He saw what absorbing man can do. And a proper What's... burial. Excuse me. For Hardy. Ah. She's a shield agent. She'll be branded a terrorist after what you said on TV. Two million dollars in a burial for Hartley to give up Colson. They're not gonna. Knowing he was captured, if he ever comes back to help capture Coulson, um, they're going to know that he's undercover, double agent. He doesn't need to go back, though. He can just give away the location. Unless they cloak the whole facility. Imagine, can they make a cloaking device that big? I mean, you would just be able to feel it still. It wouldn't, like, disappear. Dang it. It's not healthy. You need to loosen up. Try yoga or something. <laughs> I tried it, but I'm really not flexible. It's because you wear a suit all the time, I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say, how is he supposed to do yoga if he only wears a suit? Even when they were co all cozy together in the motel, I called it out. Why is he always wearing a suit? Probably just makes him feel comfortable with what, what he's comfortable in. Simmons! I don't have any patience anymore. I love Simmons. Yeah. I bet they're really but she faked. Is he infected a little bit by it? Oh, he absorbed it. You all good, hon? Are you still waiting on a friend? Yeah. Okay, let me clear that. Excuse me. It's just a little, uh, makeup. I think I got a shock. Oh, she gonna turn into, uh... Yeah, you're gonna be feeling yourself dying soon. Uh, How did I get back? I don't know what happened. All she did was touch the guy. Then he took off. Oh my gosh. This is why you're lotion your skin, everyone. You see how dry you get out here? You're saying he's losing control? He had some control issues when S.H.I.E.L.D. first came across him. If that's what's happening, anyone near him is at risk. He's not losing control. He was so patient just sitting there. They're gonna know. This isn't a friendly stop, is it? Nope. Hands on the car. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... How the hell did you lose him? Why haven't you got every agent out there looking for Creel right now? You think you're entitled to answers? He killed two of my friends. I think that's entitlement enough. Well, it's not. You should have aborted the mission. Hartley should have followed my orders. True, that's what I said at the end of the last episode. Why did they run away? Or was it because of what Talbot promised you? All of he knows. Love. So you took the deal? I have 48 hours to deliver you. I could have led them right to your door. Okay, so Lance. Me. And in exchange for me, you get what exactly? A proper burial for Isabel Hartley. I wanted to make sure her record was cleared that her family were properly notified. Really? Mm -hmm. That's all. I, I didn't solve this today. Who are you talking to? What? Me. No one. Yeah, you like talking to yourself. It's cool. So he does now know that he's just talking to make believe Simmons. No, this. Go ahead this and is show him what it do. Does that have something to do with stopping Creel? Yeah. It's so interesting. This one's. The way this, the dialogue works here. I have... I, I didn't solve this today. He's trying to figure out what will make that go away. Dang, so he just has all these different elements in his little storage car here. It's kind of cool. Nothing's working. Ow. <laughs> Maybe some uh, vibranium would work. Leave them alone, Mr. Creel. Oh, Reyna. Welcome to season two. Important things to discuss. 
Why is she always around these gifted people? She wants some powers. And I'm a huge admirer of yours. And your gifts. Mm -hmm. It's called Obsidian. Carbon. An allotrope of carbon found in stardust. Three times wow. harder than diamond. With an added bonus. It can store energy. Mm. Beautiful, isn't it? How does she always know about all these people's powers and where to find them? And like, she somehow got the stardust carbine stone. She knows all, all the different factors and elements about it. She crazy. You She's not even no scared of anything. You're dealing with lady. You ever hear Hydra? Name rings a bell. Let me give you a tip. Run. Because if the guy I'm working for gets a hold of you, I'd hate to see what he's gonna do to that pretty little face of yours. Oh, it's sprained to his neck. Looks like you need some help there, Mr. Creel. Hey, Creel. Creel? A phone number? What, is he lonely? I doubt it. The guy's jacked. And he can turn any body part into any material. Okay, thank you for mm -hmm. that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sky. Hello? Want some of the orbs? Obs obs <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Hydra only has one thing on their minds. World domination. It's just so 1945. What do you want, Reyna? It's what I don't want. True. Which is the obelisk falling into the hands of people who don't understand it. The both of us, it has an embedded tracker. But you'd better hurry. He's growing less stable by the second. Very smart, very smart. Why'd you want me? Mm. It depends. Can you follow an order? Absolutely, sir. Because part of me wants you here running back end. The other part knows we need boots on the ground, and I've only got a few good pairs. I'll be good. Scout's on her. I hope so. Calm the hell down. It uh, pissed him off. Okay. Take it easy. Look, I didn't solve yeah, this. Yeah, I know. You said today, that already. I didn't solve this today. He solved it before. Wait, are you saying you didn't solve this today? You yeah. solved this before? Yeah. Yes. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Turbo. I like the way he talks with him. This guy's name is Mac or Mick or something. I have it in my notes. I just forgot. Mac. Yeah. Yeah. Ices. Great. How do we get stuck with a non-lethal option? Coin flip. Trip called tails. I don't think they fully trust Lance right here. That's why. And there's the guy behind him. Looks like Creel is talking to the guy with his back to him. That's mm -hmm. a Hydra contact. Copy. Yep. <sighs> Copy that, sir. So dumb, so dumb. He should have stayed back. Hell no. Ah, uh, so annoying, dude. They were about to get him. Take a deep breath and clear your mind. Remember your training. Remember, compliance will be rewarded. Lance is still going through with it, though. Oh, little Salomo. Is that gonna work? Armor up. Is it gonna go right through? No, it didn't. Jeez, he can react and change his skin faster than a gunshot? I guess that's exactly what he did before, because he didn't look like metal way back in the first episode. Rain, I got it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, pal. It's oh, hurt. it's like the worst game of tag ever. Ooh. Oh, oh, dang, diamond. Is he gonna explode into diamonds everywhere? Oh, he's turning into a bunch of things. He just fully turned into the scout's honor. You would never obelisk. Scout, were you? Work for me instead. After what he just did, really? Creel must have hit you in the head. I shot three of your agents. Including Agent May. Not a smart move. She the type that holds a grudge. Savers it, actually. No doubt, you've made some mistakes. So have I. Like letting you go after Creel. But I felt for you. Yeah, and I took advantage of that. How do you know I won't do it again? I don't. But the reality is, I don't have a fleet of helicarriers or Quinjets or thousands of agents at my disposal anymore. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. But he, uh, that was still just, we've been through this before. And it just hurts their character so much. But I get it. 
Like, if they didn't give him an icer, what would he have done there? Would he use real bullets? I don't know. Probably not. I just need you to do one thing. Oh, yeah? Sell me out. So they can get some $2 million? Well, you should understand you modified it. <laughs> you know how some guys can play a tune by ear? Well, I need sheet music. The original one. You built this with this Agent Simmons I keep hearing about? Yeah. What about Simmons? Oh, I heard that she was cool. I heard that you two were pretty tight. Yeah. He's like just realizing, he like is realizing over the episode that she's not actually here. I'm okay. Uh, yeah, what about all those shield schools? Like, are, are those completely shut down at this point? No one's training to be a shield agent anymore? No, May, uh, be honest. Is Coulson okay? Of course. He is probably drawing is more wrong, symbols up at night or You're something. You're a director now, not some level one field agent. There are no levels anymore. I got rid of those. You never should have gone into the field like that. That's kind of... That's okay. That's smart. I know. They only restricted people. And I know when you're overly stressed. Is that a symbol? Is he folding staples into the symbols? Oh my gosh, he's got a purge layer. Um, you better carve some... You don't use your blood to... What's he doing? He's gonna carve more symbols. So weird. She's behind him taking pictures. That is a lot. What does it mean? I need to know. This guy said that thing has the symbols on it. I just see a bunch of little circles. I don't see those symbols. Or because she has the blood, she just sees those symbols on it because I really don't see them. Pick it up. You want me? I need to is this guy's dad? So do you. Pick it up. She said she's similar to Sky. Maybe Sky, her. Maybe some people can pick it up. I was gonna say all gifted, but no, we just saw Absorbing Man not be able to. Not that. <sighs> it's not gifted in the same way. Now there's the symbols. Oh yeah, when it glows orange. There we go. Okay. Wow, it like transforms. It worked. It's like the Lamek configuration. It let you live. It let you. Difference. It's like, oh, it's a, it's a, it must be a Kree object. They must have found it with the Kree. That's what we saw back in 1945. They put the Kree in the box. It must be a Kree object. Anyone with that blood. Ah, no, probably not. Okay. <laughs> Anyone with the Kree blood can maybe touch it. It's got the same symbol. It's, it's gotta be. That only makes sense, right? But why would, unless Raina injected herself. I don't think she has the blood in her. Would that make sense? Maybe. Or it's, it's either got to do deal with the Kree or the gifted people. Maybe Sky when she was a baby. Maybe a Kree and a human made a baby. That's Sky. This dude was with a Kree lady. Dang, so many theories. So many theories. I'm going to need a tinfoil hat. Bring me my daughter. Both of you. So that is Sky's dad. Perimeter? You don't need a perimeter. Glenn? Can I call you Glenn? No. Where's Hunter? Watching Cake Boss, I believe. Sorry. <laughs> I changed the terms of your deal. I thought Creel was dead. He's turned to stone, but he could always do that, so I'm not sure how long it'll hold. <laughs> True. Cryostasis chamber in the back of the van for 58 more minutes before the juice runs out. I'd get him someplace secure pretty quick. Maybe a little more secure than last time. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Very generous of you. Well, how about we make a deal? Shield to keep dropping off presents like this. You keep getting promoted. Mm. All we ask for in return is a little breathing room. Sound good? That was a pretty good deal. You must have some big brass ones, Coulson. I was man could have some big brass ones. Anytime. Shield. Watch him just go right, invisible right now. You don't have enough manpower or artillery to take down a convenience store, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to say no to that deal. It's a good deal. Is that bomb gonna go off? Oh, invis the invisible Quinjet! Holy, it's not even the Quinjet. They they got the cloak on the the whole bus. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Is he about to go invisible? Am I right? They just put on some glasses. Get out of here! Oh. The iceberg runs out of fuel. Oh, it's right there too. Dang. 
you just gotta accept that offer. <laughs> it's nothing, nothing you could do about it, Tal, but you're just gonna have to. I think it's good. I think it's a good deal. Smart plan. Give them some free reign. They'll give you presents, get you promoted. Easy. I keep thinking, and I, I don't know if I've said this before or not, this show would be even better if it had Agent Nadim from Daredevil. Yo, Agent Nadim. Oh my, have you seen my Daredevil reactions? Such a good character. FBI. Show's making me enjoy the basic human characters in the MCU. And he was one of the best basic human non-powered characters. Anyways, glad Fitz and we're seeing some relationship development between Fitz and Mac. I think once Fitz knows more about how he's actually losing his mind, um, like he starts coming to terms with his brain injury, I think maybe it'll make him a, a better person. Make him a bit smarter. Start realizing like why he is the way he is right now and maybe how to counteract that maybe he'll try something like not taking his brain injury pills and maybe that'll help maybe there's some side effect where that's the reason why he's seeing simmons i don't know probably not but like usually once you start knowing you're crazy not that he's crazy he's not crazy but once a person knows they're crazy they're a little less crazy anyways reyna actually uh got the package brought it to sky's the dad who she's hanging out with for some reason because she, um, back in season one, mentioned that her and Sky are similar in some ways. So she went to the dad, and I guess maybe the dad is also similar to Sky in those ways. Maybe they're all gifted together, one big happy family, I don't know. Reyna's a stepsister. Who knows? So curious about Sky's past. Uh, but we'll just have to wait till we get to that moment. Kind of sad, uh, Absorbing Man was so cool. He's gone already, but... You never know in this world. I mean, we still got the guy in the gravity case out there. He could come back. Ice Kid, he could come back. We've seen characters come and go, like Ian Quinn and, and even Reyna here. So who knows? Absorbing Man could always be back. Uh, he was really cool. So maybe they got more use for him in the future. He could turn into a good guy too. Like that, those powers, if they stop, like he's addicted to turning into different materials. It like get some off or something i don't know feels really good he's like a drug addict with objects if they could somehow train him to use his powers in a better way make him a good guy on the team or just for the military in general i feel like that'd be really cool anyways let's hop into the next episode tick tock tick tock tick -tock. first time i drank this i had just enlisted it was bland immature well it's been cooking for 45 years or whatever 50, 60 years, I don't know. How good is it now? $10 seemed so expensive back then. And now, one bottle costs over 2000 And it's just a drink. You gotta taste it for like a... Yo, I hate spending money on food and drinks and stuff. It is so annoying to me. You go to the movies and spend like $60 on some popcorn, pretzel bites, a large drink, and it's gone in under two hours usually. Or you spend $60 on a video game, Boom, you got a hundred hour playthrough to do. Man, this man is just drinking like $2,000. He waited 60 years. This man is an, so old. Waited so long to drink that. It's just gonna go away in an instant. You just taste it. Alcohol, not even good. I've tried like little little swigs of alcohol, little, little tiny capfuls, little sips. I hate it. I do not drink alcohol. I don't smoke. I don't do any of that. I don't know how people enjoy that stuff. I prefer... Apple juice. G fuel. Ooh, yummy. Tasty. Who's that? I feel like I recognize her. Surrender. And you will find meaning. Surrender. And you will find release. You know. I just imagine the <laughs> the Zoolander hypnosis video. It's so hilarious. Happy rewarded. <laughs> Comply, Agent 33. Agent 33? For work for Hydra. Real Simmons. I mean Real Simmons. She's just enjoying the life out here. She does look a little different this season, maybe. She's just happy out here enjoying life. But how? Have you forgotten about Fitz? A breath of sunshine in an otherwise... She do got a great smile. Yo, I wish I had a good smile. Oh my gosh, she's so happy all the time. I love people that are so happy all the time. Like, I'm happy all the time. 
I, I literally just can't show. I, I have a bad smile. Where's she working? Where? What is this place? Yes, you see those samples you gave me. Of no, I'll read all about it once you finish your report. Have it on my uh, desk as soon as possible. What? Wait. <laughs> whoa, 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 what a scene switch here. From her working in a hydro facility to her shooting a hydro target. What? I did. Hello? What happened? They're all saying, okay, I would believe she is undercover for them working in a hydro facility, right? But Sky specifically said, and all of them were like, she just left. She just left. And she not like betrayed them in any way but she just left maybe she was just saying that to the mercenaries or whatever maybe they were in the room in that scene i don't remember maybe she just said that she just randomly left because she's trying to keep her undercover and not let anyone know why would they send simmons in though as an undercover agent she's not one that could like unless they super trained her in all these all these months that have been in between the seasons i guess because they want her in the science labs I don't know. She must have been captured or brainwashed by Hydra in some way, just like this other girl, Agent 33. They captured her. She's brainwashed. No way. I mean, because she's not She's not Hydra. I will never believe she's Hydra. She's too nice. We love Simmons, best character. Uh, so I just want to mention, I know I talk way too much during these, but at least I'm pausing, okay? I always want to call out things when it reminds me of something else a lot. And uh, if you've seen Lost, if you haven't seen Lost, skip 15 seconds ahead of the video, okay? Or at least Lost Season 2, Episode 1, okay? The whole running thing with Simmons on the treadmill and all the happy music and stuff reminded me exactly of the opening of Lost Season 2, Episode 1 with, um, you know, the hatch and all that. So, anyways, just want to say, that, like, the reveal and everything, it's, like, all happy and then it goes bad or, like, something like that, you know? Okay, anyways. Okay, you know what? I get it. You don't have time. Neither do I. The timetables have moved up and I have been called upstairs to fill them in. No prep time, no power. She has a little hydro pin on and everything. talking out of my butt. Hey, they're studying him again. Acquisition. Dang, they're bringing him back. I was just talking about him. Wow. Hey, here he is. <laughs> Bigger actor now at this time, probably. I don't know how much uh, time has passed or what movies he filmed in between, but he constantly was becoming a bigger actor during this time. Marrakesh has a long history of giving shelter to travelers hiding from their past. Why would you think I'm hiding? Who were you speaking to? Huh? They threatened me. They said you were dangerous. And <laughs> oh. Okay, he kind of cool now. We don't want to hurt you. The episode he was in, I will say, was my least favorite episode of the entire show. I think I said that during that we we watched the episode. Dang, he's cool now. Oh, the, ooh, that was fast. You can't do it from afar. You gotta touch. Well, that is scary. Unless they throw water. Ooh, throw a bucket of water on someone, then touch them. Well, you could just freeze them anyways. Never mind. Maribel Delmar. Get water, throw it in the air, ice it. Icicle, throw. Oh my gosh. Mortal Kombat. Jeez. Okay, he's cool now. I like him. Whoops, just here. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Yeah. Sriracha? Beer? That's all? <laughs> I also have tea. Of course you do. British. English. Fingerling potatoes? Kale. That's all pretty good. I'm hungry. Let him cook. Let him cook. Someone should make a shirt that says let him cook and it has colson's face on it i'd sell those i should start making shirts confirmed they sent her in here as a double agent um she's not brainwashed she's not taken that's good love that thing that is weird about this is they had her hard drive they know that she worked for shield before are they not suspicious at all that she like just is like did they not think she's a double agent? Maybe they don't know about the hard drive. They don't know about all our studies. They don't know she was in S.H.I.E.L.D. Because all the people that did are captured or dead now. So maybe that's it. How do you just go into Hydra and get a job, though? How do they have a whole building in the city, too? 
the dude that's downstairs that lets them up the elevator seems so nice. I doubt he's uh, part of Hydra at all. But you never know. They're really good at keeping uh, people's identity secret in this show. Not letting you trust anyone or making you trust people that are going to betray you. Glad Simmons is not brainwashed, though. If you're going to move up in Hydra, you need to make friends. I just... Be like Ward. I can't lie like he did. You don't need to. Yeah, I just noticed. She, um, oh, wow, I've paused more in this episode than probably any episode. I'm sorry. You're probably hating me in the comments. Anyways, she has gotten much better at lying. I just noticed because she, that one episode where she was undercover, she wore like the glasses and made up that whole story and everything. She's doing so good here. It's very convincing. Good job, Simmons. She's moving up in the world. You think they're trying to recruit Donny Gill as a scientist? That would be the best case scenario. Most likely scenario, Hydra's looking for another weapon. From what we've been able to piece together, Donnie Gill had limited powers when he entered the sandbox, but... While there, he was taught to control, amplify those powers. This Creel wasn't an isolated incident. I've been told Gill's next on Hydra's wish list. Told by who? I have a source. A source you trust? Very much so. Now I want us to bring Gill in. They don't know. Wow. So Sky really believes Simmons just left. It's only Coulson that knows. Just keeps getting more and more interesting. I was never loyal to Hydra. I was loyal to Garrett. Oh, Garrett is the reason you're a cold-blooded killer. It's true, I though. Blame him for the choices I've made. Right, I we saw he didn't like Hydra that much. Or was it your parents? Man, I can't. He never gave us a my family. Hail Hydra, sir. Garrett built me back up. Respect. She kind of looking like flowers over here. I don't think she's wearing flowers though. But looks like it. Because while a shield agent is considering right and wrong. Hydra's already taken the shot. That's true. Man is insane. Insanely powerful. Wow. Dang. Are you? Did they see Coulson go into her apartment? Nothing. I haven't done anything. Well, then I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Ma'am, come with us. Okay. Make friends. Uh-oh. Not long ago, you were a level five shield agent. Yes, they level know. Shields four. I was candid about my work history. You left things out. If I did, it wasn't intentional. Stop lying. You've been doing cellular analysis for Project Blizzard, yet didn't inform your supervisor that you knew the subject. I didn't realize it was Gil until yesterday, when I saw a photo in Kenneth's file. I would have said something. Yet, he didn't. My loyalties are with science. So long as Hydra allows me to do the work I want to be doing, then yes, my loyalties. Good are answer. Now, more magnificent plant species like the giant sequoia. Their seeds need the heat of that fire to crack open and be born, to literally rise from the ashes, and they will live thousand years so you're a tree you don't need to keep burning rise be born sir i hate to interrupt but how do you walk into a room with someone that's literally torturing someone speaking to them as they're getting brainwashed and say sir i hate to interrupt i can barely walk up to anyone barely doing anything they're writing something on a piece of paper i don't want to interrupt them they're on a phone call I'll wait. I'll wait. This man is torturing someone mid brainwash. Yeah. These people are insane. What needs to be done. Dang, Agent, Th Agent 33 is strong. Means we got the night off. Kenneth's on assignment and won't be hogging the Xbox. Poor Koenig. Because I should be going. He can't play with Call of Duty with his brother anymore. Wait, he still plays though. That's so sad. What if he has another brother and they're like triplets or quadruplets? What if there's an infinite amount of Koenigs? They're actually clones. They're not twins. Miss Simmons. <laughs> Do you have anything warmer? Classic evil villain. Where's the cat? We leave. leave. Where to? We found Donny Gill. So I'm glad he's a good person here. It's just freezing Hydra and agents and, and for all. that innocent man, I guess. I'm That's kind of messed up. I'm not afraid.
<laughs> Every hydro okay. agent they send is going to feel it. Not Simmons, please. Oh no. I think you should go in there. You are not here. Oh. Come into terms. Oh no. Oh, Garrett's own. I mean, not Garrett. Grant. Grant's gonna feel so bad for him, right? Is he? He better. He doesn't want to drop him in the ocean like this. He doesn't know anything about how Fitz is right now. That's so sad. They used to be friends. I hate it. I hate it here. Face to face. Uh, it's, it's stop. Good. Stop talking. Grant's a psycho, but like, I, he is genuine a lot of the time. I feel like, like that was actually concerned him saying Fitz's name. It like felt real, right? It did not. He does still care about them a little. I packed your shoot, and according to my ex, my folding skills are abysmal. Jeez. The nice thing is, this is as scary as it I would pass out if he said that. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Thanks. I don't think I'll ever be doing this. Extreme fear of heights. When I was drywalling, when I was painting, I could barely paint this 10-foot ceiling above me. Even though... Dude. I cannot go on more than two or three steps on a ladder. It's bad. I've looked at videos on my phone before, where someone leans the camera over the edge of a building, and I, like, shake or jump. So stupid. I wanted to save you. Garrett ordered me to kill you in Simmons. He expected That's me what to I put said. a bullet in your head. That's why I said he saved them. Even though other people in the comments are like, no, he's a psycho. Which, I mean, he is, obviously. He can't kill people face to face. He wants to feel like it's not his responsibility. I get that. That's why he waited and shot in the air to make the dog run away. And then he sniped it from far away because he just couldn't. Kill it while I was looking into his eyes. And that's what he did. He turned away from Fitz and Simmons and did that. But it's still like a... Instead of him just shooting them right then and there. Because they were trapped in that room. He could have... Could have killed them. He instead dropped them in the ocean. Gave them a second chance in a way. They could potentially escape. And they did. So I do still think he... Saved them. Right here he's saying he saved them. So... Chance to find a way out like you always do. Fighting chance. Like you did. Save me. I like half do, believe do you, it. Do you, do you know what that, um... Oh. What you... Okay. Oh. Oh no. What? Dang. What are you doing? I'm showing you what it's like when you're deprived. I should be there. My with gosh. You, but I can't be because of you. Because of what you did to me, I'm damaged. Uh. Donny. Oh. Nice to see you again. Donny Gill. Hello. Who sent you? Shield. Hydro. Oh my gosh. Which side did you end up on? I'd like to think I'm on your side. Oh. Hey. Save Simmons. Get her out of the situation. Proceed. That's Let really bad. On Gil. She can't say anything because she's bugged. Scott, you cover the door. You don't give the orders, train spotting. I'm not Scottish. Uh, what? Okay. Continuity errors. Gears of War. There was a spot up there where there was a body before. There was a that the Simmons the, the body that Simmons looked up at with the hand hanging over the railing. They just passed by that same area and there was no body. I noticed it. I noticed it. Hey, 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 what the hell, man? I just took out the boomers. Uh, the bus, the bus. We need to talk to the bus. <laughs> the boomers. He described the blueprints he saw in your room. He was quite impressed. And Fitz is very hard to impress. Breath. And clear your mind. Surrender and you will find meaning. Oh. Surrender and you will find release. They've brainwashed him. Agent Smith. And when they trained him earlier. They yeah. They brainwashed him. And they're going to re-trigger his programming if they can. 
I thought they already said that earlier in the episode, though. Oh, they're going to re-trigger their programming. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because they said that they were, like, training him to use his powers better, and we saw in the background he was doing, like, some spiral ice thing. So, yeah, I thought we already knew that they trained him. We just didn't know he was brainwashed. Okay, I get it. That's what they're just figuring out. Brain blast moment. Um, you know don't shoot Simmons. What is best is you comply. <gasps> Stop! 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 It's Simmons! Oh my gosh, was that nicer? <gasps> oh, dang. That effect, kind of cool. Repeat, May shot me. Man. For a good reason. You got to make those tough decisions. <laughs> Trip just said, man, I wanted to be the one. I love, love the feud between Lance and May. Oh, he, he like apologized to her like over 400 times before. Now they shooting each other. I'm sorry, I tried. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, <laughs> that camera Mr. angle. Gilbert. Scary. You Why are you scared at all? Take a deep breath. No. Calm your oh. mind. No, please. Please you know what is best. <gasps> Absorbing Man was also complying like that. Oh. Compliance will be rewarded. Oh. Gotta do something, Simmons. Your people are in there. Oh, nice. Sky. <gasps> Ow. Oh, he gone like that. Maybe he can survive in cold in the cold ice. But he is shot. He can freeze his wound. Oh no, he's freezing. Oh. Uh, what's with all these villains this season? Turning into stone, turning into ice. <laughs> Dang, he was so cool for this one episode. <laughs> Nice disguise. Aww. The threat's been neutralized. Keeping it nice. Hydra doesn't have him. And Agent Simmons. Her cover's been maintained. So we're even, right? We are. Bloody <laughs> hell. <laughs> they still haven't found Donnie Gill's body yet. You okay? No. Hmm. Interesting. I get why Coulson kept what Simmons was doing from us. I understand he's protecting her, making sure no one compromises her mission, but you knew? I'm scared for her. Simmons in Hydra, she's a terrible liar. I'm serious, I love her. She's better at it, though. It is a horror show. <laughs> a horror show. <laughs> You're an important part of this team, and I don't want you to forget that. But I saw the recording, your conversation with Ward. You almost killed him. But I didn't. I'm not a killer. I need to do whatever it takes to understand the people we're fighting. Ward is mm -hmm. one way I'm trying to do that. Well, you should have told me. Maybe. Is there anything more? That I'm keeping from you? Yeah. I'm director. There's a hell of a lot more. But there is one other thing you should know. Simmons is on an assignment. Yes. That's why she hasn't been in contact. You didn't know she left, though. Uh. And, um, did she ask to go on the assignment? Did she want to leave? What she's doing is very important. She's fully brainwashed. Hmm. So you trust her? I do now. She saved him. My bullet. Wrong. We'll make her comply. Oh. Oh no. That's gonna be so messed up. So much trauma. I know something. He's so in love. It's kind of creepy. To believe me. Very creepy. When I say it. Stockholm syndrome. Your father is alive. He's looking for you. And someday, if you let me, I'll take you to him. Do you believe that? Because it is the truth. You know, I mean, the other shield facility that the other Koenig was in had a whole lie detector machine. You could totally, um, if this one has one like that, totally hook him up to it. The only reason he passed the other one was because uh, he was injured and his things were still going off. Dang, her heartbeat is fast. 
It's the first time. Okay, that's it. Well, I talked and paused way too much during this episode, so I'm going to make this quick at the end. I thought those were both very good episodes. I liked Gil. I did. And maybe he's still alive. Maybe they found a way to go to the bottom of the icy ocean right there and get him. Because um, they, they said, like, the police department or whoever, they couldn't find the body. So maybe he shot her into a million pieces down there, though. I don't know. But he could still be alive. Maybe. He looked like he could have been pretty dead down there. But who knows? He might be freeze resistant. And him freezing in that water down there would have patched the wound and made him not bleed out anymore. So that could be a thing. Anything's possible here. Sky now might be a little more curious about her father. Ain't no way, though, she's going to break Gran out and secretly go on a mission to go find her father, right? She wouldn't do that. She's not that stupid, I don't think. She she might do that. I don't, I don't think she's stupid at all. And that would be stupid. But yeah, love the reveal that Simmons is working for Hydra in this episode. Makes a lot of sense, too. It's not just like, oh, a little... Season one to season two time skip, she's Hydra now. No, it's obviously she's not. She's just undercover. Working on her acting skills a bit. Love that for her. And uh, Fitz got a lot more development this episode with his character. He knows a lot more about himself. Knows more about Simmons. The lies and secrets are being lessened around him. He's coming to terms that Simmons is in fact gone. And he was able to control himself this episode and say to Simmons that she is not real. And she disappeared. So that was great. He knows Grant is in the facility. Grant knows what he did this to Fitz, although he didn't get the full extent of it. He didn't really see Fitz going completely crazy. He doesn't know he's hallucinating about Simmons or anything. I kind of wish he saw that part to, so that Grant feels even more bad for him. Um, and he almost killed him. Fitz almost killed Grant in this episode. Three minutes without oxygen right there would have left him in the same state that Fitz is in. I love that they brought the, the the actor back. I forgot his name again, but whoever played Gil, glad they brought him back. Um, his acting was even better here than the episode where he was first revealed, which was an episode I didn't really like too much. I thought it was kind of, I don't remember what exactly about the episode I didn't like. It was just like, it was just kind of like a boring episode to watch, but here he's done in a much better way and his powers are so sick. I can tell the budget for the season is way better than season one. Um, just a lot of things look really solid. But yeah, anyways, that's going to be it for today. Uh, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on these two episodes. Let me know about anything I may have missed down below in the comments as well. Leave a like, subscribe, become a member if you want to watch the next episode a week ahead. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See you guys in the next video very, very soon. <laughs>